Alright, now look, don't be thinking for one moment. I don't see you guys and what you want to see more of. More! See that guy? That's literally you. Am I surprised about that? Nope. Look, nope. I can draw this intro out as much as I wanted, but I know you've seen the title and thumbnail. You know what we're doing right here. It's time for FNAF VHS. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to another video reacting to more Five Nights at Freddy's VHS stuff. Look, all I can see is I'm really enjoying FNAF all over again, man. There's some good games coming out. How Wanted 2 is also on the horizon. Look, I don't know how many creators will react to in this video, but I have like eight to ten different ones lined up. Maybe we'll check one of each. We might end up getting sidetracked to get addicted to one of these channels and see what they do. Gonna be a fun time though, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy this one as well. If you do, go ahead and hit that like rating down below. By the way, uh, random fact, which uh, some of you guys might not know, but um, did you know if you subscribe, you can like watch my content all the time? And I do most of this stuff. Just saying. The first video we're going to be looking at is called Springlock Failure FNAF VHS. Straight away in the description, this was made by someone who is 14 years old. So bro, like if we're going to have like realistic talent coming through here, I am flabbergasted. Let's get it. Hey, Freddy this tape Fazbear. Will show our employees how to collect and restore old items from our life. Uh, I, I didn't see items nothing. To it's, collect. All right. Oh, okay. So this was about the Springlock. I had to see this Batteries. guys. I don't think we've seen one. Doing this, I think it's like a first-person POV thing. Why the double-A batteries? Hold on, wait, you break into a haunted past pizzeria establishment for, for a double-A Duracell battery. They must be powered by some of that good stuff. Now, this makes more sense. You want those decorations, right? Things to keep in mind. Uh -huh. One, there could be a chance of a gas leak due to old pipes. Oh, man, okay, Two, yep. never touch the spring Ooh. bonnie or fret bear suit. They know about being that Three, dang, it's broken. This all busted up. Oh, shoot. Oh, they used the FNAF zoom effect. Come on, bro. I know that sound effect. This is someone breaking into uh, one of the old places. I mean, that, that is not boarded up while I'm just saying that tape is, uh, has been out there for a while. That is almost as decrepit as uh, the inside of this place. Why are they always so dark as well, man? Like, never install windows? You don't think that's a good idea? Just build this place up in the darkness. So someone's coming in here, you know? Watch the training tape. Training tape on how to break into a premise illegally, I would assume. And they're just going to steal some decorations, but they're going to find a bit more, I guess, than uh, what's intended. They were told one not to touch. Spring Bonnie, Fred Bear costumes. You see them? Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they're valuable. But do you value your life more or the suit? He's just looking around this place for now, though. Oh, there's the back room. Man, you should have locked that up with the bear. Kind of locks this. And you see that? Oh, shoot. He's already back here. I think that's the one we were told not to touch. He gets up close on it. Oh, uh, wait. There are a lot. Wait, what? Ooh. Oh, wait, what? Bro, does he get in. <gasps> uh. Bro, he gets inside the suit thinking it's gonna happen. I can't even finish speaking. Don't sweat. Don't cry. Don't fart, don't pee especially. Is that the spring lock going down? Big old puppet head. Yep, he's done and that's it. Watch. Roasted and toasted. <laughs> <laughs> yep, as it went down. Good night, by the way, sir. Error, his brain we got. Freak was that, hold up. Oh, that's like a more realistic take on the whole like spring lock thing going on inside, man. That's what he looks like now? So he tried hiding in the suit, I guess, to get away from the animatronics and uh, yeah, POV. That's a spring lock failure in first person right there. He's getting up. He's like, yo, how come my feet can move right now? I'm super quiet. Shouldn't have messed with that. Should have thought about what you were doing. It's like standing so slowly, slowly emerging from it. Oh yeah, it was a bad idea. He just slumps back down. First person spring trap vlog. Oh, look at the springs in his eyes, though. Well, oh, someone was coming, I think. Oh my, he's like crawling in the suit. Whoa, okay, that's a much more graphic take on this whole thing. Trying to get out, it's too late, though. Fused with the body. What a bad design. Who thought that was a good idea, man? Come on, right now. Invest in a second suit. One for the, like, the actors, and then one for the animatronics. No, we want to save $20. Do it that way. He's trying to break it down. So you break that down. I think they're gonna break you down once they see you. 
And that's your no, that's it. No battery, no more of this VHS. Bro got spring locked and he is trapped. Ugh, there's just something about the contrast. Should be happy, right? But I ain't feeling it. Yeah, that's more like it. Uh, hey, where did you go? Is he roaming around, like, accepting what he's become? Why am I expecting a jump scare? Bro, I was so scared about just something random happening right there. For the longest time, I was just bracing. I'm, I'm almost glad nothing happened. Hey, hello, Dev. Kudos. 14 years old and making stuff like that. That's actually, like, so impressive to see. Like, crazy, in fact. That's actually the only VHS tape they ever made as well. So hopefully they're still pursuing because they clearly have a talent for sort of 3D animation and all that stuff. That was insane. The next video in the list is one called Retrieve. This is made by Blue Crown Productions. Only 329 subscribers. I seriously go digging to try and find like unknown creators so often for this because there's always so much talent that just doesn't get discovered so hopefully this one is going to be a great VHS tape. This tape was given to us by a 17 year old boy named Lewis. After we watched this tape it's clear to say we need to do an investigation on these animatronics. We will not get in trouble for breaking in. Fazbear Entertainment 7 -94. So this is based on the tape that was in it. Are we seeing what the boy did? Like who was, was that the boy complaining there or nah? Yeah, pop that tape in, so we need to see what's going on here. I need clarification. My eyeballs and ears are confused. Two separate things. We saw darkness, but very clear audio. So, what's going on here, huh? So, the plan is to break in quietly. Oh. Get my friend Sammy's jacket, then get out. That's so cool, like the whole... Street view, look, we got the lamps and everything. So, break in. You can see Pirate's Cove is just... It's shining. You walk past that. I get it. There's no way that just opens up, though. And, uh, oh, wait, and there we go. Did he like pick the lock super quick? Bro is efficient. And then we go. Oh, wow. This is cool. Well, the sound design's already good. I guess. I like the voice acting too. Hey, he just stands there Whoa. though. Oh, oh. Woo. That's creepy. These are kind of realistic reactions no. too. Um, back on jacket. Yeah, what are we doing here, huh? I need to find a jacket. Jacket? Dude, stop. He's broken to steal a jacket. Who Me when I was a kid, man. Oh, yeah. Check behind that curtain. Seems like Hello? Yeah. We already know he's going to be there. He's going to move it. Good. He's not phased by it, though. All either right. way. It's a normal day for him. Like, oh, it's going to be an office, right? Uh, Might be the side room. Locked. We ain't going to see. We don't go in there. Can we hear that? What the heck? There's your office. This feels really good. It's like realistic. Look at the wood, the table. You can see like the wood design. That's so weird. That looks so good. So that's Bonnie, bro. Oh, oh, yo, that looks cool. Oh, very realistic with the feel here. What the heck was that? It's not like an alligator growl. He's trying to get out. Yep, you want that flashlight up, please, so we can see. Did he get out? Oh, just... This is why you put... What did I do? Oh, you messed up. Whoa! Oh, you can actually see it running. Ugh. That was... Oh, this is interesting. Does he break it down? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. So he made it out. Just gotta... Show us So that was all about Bonnie being sure, like the one to one. I'm not going back to that place. Yeah, why would you go down in the first place? For a jacket, that dude said? Moron, bro. Absolute moron. Interesting take. The sound design was much less on this one, which honestly made it feel a bit more realistic. But yeah, I'm glad that dude made it out safely. That was really well animated, and the Bonnie reveal looked great. Blue Crown Productions, can't wait to see what you do next, but we have even more content creators to get to. Let's go ahead and do this. The next channel we're going to be checking out is called Samuel. Now, I can't say how many times I've been recommended to watch this video here called The Hidden Nightmares. This video contains flashing lights and settling stuff. You can read all that. We've got the captures enabled, by the way, and there are jump scares, but they count down to it each time. And now a reflection of past mistakes. Let's see We're what this is. Hey, I think. Band. There's our performer. You told me you okay. It looks so clean. And he can I sing. He's got the good vocals. Engineer's on it. Uh... Wait.
What is going on? What is this? Whoa! I wondered if I could hold what the heck is going on? Okay, now I'm intrigued. This contrast. Ooh, we got the backing singers. I don't know if this music is even playing, guys. I don't know if it's copyright. I guess we'll find out. Uh. uh. What the? Look how they. Uh, it's like people in suits. <laughs> Yo, what the f. <laughs> This is a weird take on the whoa! Dang, this is strange. It's like a montage more so. Uh oh my okay, yeah, you keep your kids. What the freak, bro? This is weird. They look so strange. This is literal nightmare fuel. This is like if you hallucinate in the FNAF establishment, this is what you would see. Whoa, so strange. There's our lead guy. Yeah. He's gonna chomp down on your frontal lobe. There is no waking up. Oh, no way. They did them all like this. So weird. Ew. Okay, you gonna eat that? Yeah. Oh, oh, he's, dro he's drooling over that one. Okay, we see. This is an actual nightmare. What the hell? Ew. Bro, this is giving me shivers. Oh, yeah. This is a nightmare. Imagine that. A plushy tomb. This is so weird. Hey, there's our boy. You got the chump treatment, right? Hey, hey, son. Uh. Uh oh, do I want to? There you go. There's our crying child. Either that or it's just uh, jump scare. Be ready. Oh. I thought it was gonna be a monster. Whoa! What the heck? No way. This is so weird. I love it. Voldemort if he was purple. Wow. He's got the denim jeans though. What a strange, interesting take. I like it. I really like that. I really like that. That was so cool. What a weird, interesting idea. It's more of a montage of just more things we know and love just changed up. Bro, that was cool. What? Hopefully I can include the bass audio that was in this one because it added a lot to it. It gave it like a really weird unnerving feeling, but bro, that was so cool. This was by Smamuel, by the way. Really good stuff. Bring Trapped Run Night 6. Okay, this looks like comedy. I gotta see this now. There it is. Unguarded. All I Wait. have to do is... Wait. Why does that sound like Squidward? Easy. There must Hang be on. some kind of... Uh -oh. Security? Oh, bro, he's gonna this get a spring lock. Burglar alarm? No. <laughs> a bucket of water? <laughs> oh, well, I didn't get him. Okay. But. Hey. Yeah, this don't isn't like that. water. That's oil. This is Petrol. Gas. <laughs> oh, gas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, FNAF 3 in a nutshell. Literally nailed it, though. Bro, <laughs> why was that actually funny, though? <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed that one. The style of this was just really great, but let's go ahead and check out another content creator now. Next up, we're going to be checking out Valox once again, a very talented creator. There was some videos on here that I still didn't get a chance to see, and I really wanted to. One of them was this one here, this Give Life, because, bro, that thumbnail alone, no, it makes me want God, to start please, vomiting. No. All right, here we go, Give Life. So is it going to be another rendition of the, uh, the FNAF 2, the game that we could get sometimes when we die? I can't get through to anyone. Fully voice acted, love it already. What this is, is gonna voice? be a treat, bro. Henry, is that you? So Henry's the creator of the animatronics, we know that. While implanted in the law. So we hear Henry's name. Tinkering with the animatronics. Keeping everything running behind the scenes. All right. Pirate Cove, we see all that? Oh wait, this was, we've seen this one before in the teaser. Is this the FNAF 1 place? It kind of looks like it. Ah, oh, what the heck is going on? Yeah, this is the FNAF 1 place. If the... What the... I'm out, I'm bowing, I would leave, all right? I'd, I'd be walking around with a crowbar in my back pocket if I were to. You think he's listening? You think it's a person doing this? Someone's pulling up a chair to sit down, scraping along the floor. There's your back room. Oh, there's one of the suits. Oh, are they all back there? They ain't made so much going on. Is that saved? I want the freak. Oh, they're all bloodied up. Oh, ew. Bro, that 
that's just, oh my god, that is so unnerving. He was just like doing his thing and it was like, oh crap, someone just saw me, bro, what the heck? Like he's just yeah. doing his thing. Oh my, he's just getting it done. He's just busy doing his day shift or his night shift. His phantom shift. Is it gone? Oh, it's hiding. There's the puppet we see him down there. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's so cool. So, give life, right? Give gifts. Missing to- Here we go. It all links up. Dang. That's eerie. This must be prior to the night guard getting his job then. Way back in 85, this one is. Yeah, this is, uh... It's long before we had our shift there. All right, we see we got the kids there. They're all performing. Oh, we're gonna see, like, uh... Maybe the people get lured away once or twice, like, throughout them. Camp 10, 5.26 p.m., so it is the daytime. That, oh, hey, look. He's trying to lure the kid back. They're like, hey, your parents aren't around, right? Yeah, they're back here, that's why. Come follow me. This is, oh, this is sick. The suspect was captured on the security feed wearing one of our old Springlock suits, luring a lone child away from the main dining hall and towards the safe room. Oh my gosh, this is a really cool take. Holy crap, dude, this feels real. The way it's portrayed, this is cool. And away he goes with the kid. And that's where that person with the camera went. So this is uh, about two and a half hours later, nearly. We got audio this time. What are we trying to look for? Kid's throwing down. down to oh, bro, that kid just fell over. AO2, it's five minutes later, I think. Kid took a tumble, nothing. Importance that way. What's this? They're just chatting. That kid's like, yeah, you know, it's kind of boring. She's trying to be like, yeah, this place is cool. Did you know they got the secret back room? Oh, look, there he is. This is so cool. What the heck? They run excited. I mean, you would be, right? They want to go see him. The star attraction. Another secret animatronic that's not on the stage. Who is he? Bro. What the freak? Who was it? Someone hacked my VHS. What was that? Hold up. Ah, oh, yeah, there he is. There goes the kid. He's like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, spirit here. I'm dead, by the way. This is another hour or so later to the closing hours. This is after he had lured them back. That's three people he's lured back, right? That said, it's me. So when did the suits, like, receive their souls? Because at the moment, they're just still suits, right? No souls in them. His messed up idea. Did the parents not, you know, leave him without their kids? Think, hey, where are they? Ah, oh, don't worry. Jimmy Jimmy made his own way home. Yeah, it's a 30-mile walk. Don't worry about it. Is that the blade in his hand? I think it is. The suspect left the safe room later that night once the building was closed. It wasn't long before the children were reported missing. Yeah, I hope not. Local pizzeria, bodies not found. Kids vanished there. Hmm. Soon after, customers began to complain about foul odors coming from the much-loved animal mascot, getting the company into some trouble with the health department. And when they look in there, they're gonna find, uh, much to their dismay, a couple of missing children. It was only a few days later that police were contacted, when parents reportedly noticed what appeared to be bloodstains and mucus around the eyes and nails of the mascots, which we've already seen. Really, incredibly realistic depiction of, uh... You know, Spring Bonnie, Laura in the back, Mr. Afton in the suits. It's very strange. Oh, this links up with the video we watched, the Golden Freddy one. Oh, we should have watched them in order. The missing children were unfortunately found deceased, stuffed into the animatronic bodies, presumably to hide them. Oh, this makes so much more sense now. These were the photos taken during the investigation. Yeah, lay them down. Let's take a look at these things. I'm down. I'm all ice. I don't want to be all eyes. I don't want to be all eyes. Henry Hawkins. Oh my gosh, bro. Police got to document it, though. Victor was identified as Gabriel Lloyd. He was only nine years old. This is horrible. The other one, yep. Inside Chica. Susie Smith, four years old. Now we got to stop after, man. I mean, we know in the future, like, he gets stopped on his own accord. And we got Foxy as well. Fritz Davis, he was only 13 years old. I'm glad you can- Oh, you kind of can see them in there, that's so jacked up. Oh, shoot. The victim was identified as Cassidy Newton, she was only 9 years old. Is that the ghost face we saw? Flicking on the screen? The freak is that? We believed it was best to have the bodies removed and disposed of by our team in order to not impact the business- Oh my- Of course, the guy who does that. 
It's the one who wishes to sweep it all under the rug. Yeah, well, that makes even more sense. The animatronic suits are to be washed, although this maintenance will have to wait until next week, which is when they are regularly scheduled in. That's Mr. H. Emily. And then we saw Henry is the one that went into the establishment after to, uh, check them out. And there's your desk screen with all the people on it. People within the suits. Now it all lines up, the original people in the FNAF 1 establishment. And we've got the gravestone back there. Far away, it's a lie. It's the same because they ain't resting. Like you want them to be resting, but they are not resting. It's all a lie. Death isn't the end. This isn't peace. I can't move, help me. Whoa, oh shoot. Himself, the most important thing. There you go. That was actually so cool. Whoa, bro. I've got tingles running down my body after watching that. That was just so good. The pacing, everything about that was just like... Just wow. Oh, you know what we need to see, though? We need to see more of those FNAF 2 minigames made into things like this. Imagine the one where, like, you gotta run around as Freddy, like, giving the cake to the kids, and we see the child outside get adopted by someone. That would be so cool. Okay, I don't know if someone's already done that. If so, please link it me down below. I would love to see more VHS stuff just like that. That's crazy. Hey, Valox, could you honestly make a bad VHS tape idea? I, I don't think it's in your blood. I think it's just S tier only. I would say check back on my last FNAF VHS reaction to, guys. We've watched The Yellow Bear, The Showtime and Grand Reopening. I think this is all linked because obviously the suits have the bodies in them, then the place closed down. Then in the yellow bear, Henry goes back to investigate the souls and we hear them talking. Maybe Birthday Boy's gonna link up then in this story. So let's check this one out. Recorded 11th of the 4th, 2000. I will do everything in my power to find you from Vanessa Hawkins. She is getting too close to my work. I know, I'll give her the job. Another beautiful disappearance, just like the old days. Maybe it'll bring more people in looking, mourning over a loss by visiting the place, just like before. Maybe it means more customers. She's given a fake name. How cute. If I could just readjust the animatronics facial record. Uh, 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 wait, wait, what happened? Hold up. Hi, Mr. Afton. Is this tape about you? I know you can't, um, hear me, Jeremy. But, uh, Is that Vanessa? I miss you every day. One of the people who's missing, I guess. God, I miss you every day. So is that Vanessa Hawkins talking? I would assume so. Fifteen years is... Emotional deliverance, bro. It's a long time. Yeah, it is. Decades, nearly. Decade and, and a half. It's difficult for me to find closure when you were just taken. So does she want to get that closure herself? So suddenly. This is like somber. I don't want to talk, man. Holy crap. I miss you so much. She's got to do what she's got to do. That's why she gave the fake name. Maybe she knew Afton would know oh, as a family member trying to get a, get a job. Mom and Dad miss you too. But Afton knows about her giving a fake name. He knows it's Dad kind of almost like the movie. Dad at the funeral. He had to step out. Why would somebody do that to you, Jeremy? Some people are so sick and twisted, you'll never understand their minds. That dude is one of them. Mr. Afton is, he's a, he's a work, man. He's a piece of work. I don't think anyone wants to try and uh, decipher what the heck makes him and his cogs in his brain spin. <sighs> Happy birthday, sis. I'm gonna find him, Jeremy. Here it is. I'm gonna find him. How moldy is that cake, though? Either that cake is made of cardboard, or that's got 15 years worth of high-dense preservatives so in it. everybody can finally find some kind of closure. Ain't no mold on that cake. Still as good as day one somehow. Fascinating. She gets the job, right? So nobody else has the same fate as you. She wants because to put a stop to it. Oh, the blood under there. The juxtaposition. It zooms out, you see a lot more of what actually happened in the room, you know, not just the nice bit. Okay. Oh, so is this... Is this more what it is? Was that just more of a collage? There he is. Once that closure... So why does it cut out like that? I'm so confused. Like, in the description, the text. 
can stand there with your knife, but you're looking at a camera, bro. Looking at a camera. You ain't looking at Vanessa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, what the? <laughs> Wait. Did he get Vanessa? There ain't no way. Blow out the candles. <laughs> That made me sweat, dude. I got sweat coming down my body. Oh, is this the souls of the, the people once the, the puppet gave them life again? Like, so confused, bewildered. Like, here they are, animatronics. That's so weird. I like it. I like how confused they look. It, it makes the whole flow of them understanding and, like, being reborn. It makes more sense. Oh, wash your ears. You'll take them off on the top of that door. It's weird. And they're relearning their whole bodies again, like how they move and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, there's your jaw. So weird. The puppet gave him life. He's like just... Wait, what's he... Oh my... Oh! Birthday boy. So that was the soul in that suit, right? That was who they were trying to find. There he was in the Bonnie suit. So did she also lose her life? Is that what it was saying? I don't really know. I'm not sure. Was that another victim? Hold up. Bubble Pop VA. That's the same voice actor as in the grand reopening. That makes me think even more then. That is actually her in the tape we saw again in the previous reaction. So you guys got to go back if you want to follow this storyline. That was just one of the families too. That was a uh, pretty emotional delivery as well. And you got to think five different families all felt that sort of emotion in, uh, you know, everything when it went down. So when they lost their kids, like, that was just one family's experience. One person trying to find closure. And that's what they got. And it was kind of weird. You, you saw the puppet, obviously, in the last one, giving life to these kids. They These kids waking up, they don't know what's going on. I assume the puppet was, an, was another soul too. Learning what they are. And then the Bonnie guy, like, pulling his face apart and just like, what? where where am I? Like, am Am I in there then? If like I'm this guy, like if I'm moving, am I just inside like a, a suit or something? I'm gonna get myself back out, but it's like, no, you are the actual suit collectively. And to finish this video of we're gonna react to a video from Bazaar, who we have seen so many of their videos already on this channel. Extremely talented individual. This video right here, trespassing, looks so dope. We're gonna just enjoy this one, guys. Look, sit back, get comfortable. Let's go ahead and immerse ourselves one more time in this little world here. All right, let's do it. Trespassing. It's always with these people breaking on when they shouldn't be. HBS Evening News. Our top story for this evening. Police are currently on the lookout for two children reported missing just yesterday after they hadn't returned home from the local family restaurant, oh, Freddy Fazbear's well, Pizza Place. This feels too real, The authorities man. are looking for the following children. <laughs> Bro, I'm getting like shivers. Oh my gosh, these are so good. Thank you, FNAF community, for just being so great. This is such a treat to watch. Okay, here we go. 12-year-old Jeremy Connors and 8-year-old Stephen Williams. Oh, and you if can see you in those glitches states we got a i'm sorry guys there's our bonnie connor's and, and eight year old she's chica so there's and our bonnie Williams. and chica guys right if you there. or anyone you know has seen the individuals depicted in the photographs please contact your local police department or the hurricane city police department i think you got a hurricane going on and... i think i got my light no it's okay i got one Oh, all right. Here we go. So okay. these are two people so, they're breaking. Uh, trespassing. Right now, we are at the supposedly haunted Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Oh, we got look at that. That's I think cool. The rumors are a bunch of bullshit. But <laughs> it's Halloween, and we've honestly got nothing better to do. Thanks. So he's just like, yeah, let's just do it. Let's Did break it. If my dad knew I had this camera, he'd Spank kill Louis. me, dude. Wow. It's honestly a wonder how I was even able to sneak out of the house in the first place. How'd you do it then, huh? Same way you trespassed in here. So what's up with this place anyway? Well, there's quite a few people Dude, here. Did you not hear? Kids died here, man. Mm. Kids. Yeah. It was all over the news. Yeah. And now you're realizing it's bad. I'm you're here. Sure this place is on lockdown until the cops finish the And they just they came still knowing that, bro. Oh, come snap, on, Matt. Check this out. What is what that? Fast coin? Looks like a little token. Hey, Probably take it. Arcade machines. I'll take it. That oh. looks sick. Okay, I thought I was amusing my face. Yeah, I do. Hey, yeah, they're just, they're young people, man. They're like, yeah, let's have some fun. Is that a whack a ball? Whack a ball. Woo! Hey! Yeah, the video comes second. Hey, this feels real, though. This is what it would be like, right? Let's go. Bop. Go take it. Bop. Ooh! Dude, why do I want to. What did you do? Why the fuck do you always blame me for everything, man? Hit that thing too hard! Oh my gosh. Maybe the arcade machine short circuited or something. I, I don't know. A bit more oh, than just. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stop, please, bro. The whole place Why in darkness. We have to spend a perfectly good Halloween in this stupid kid oh, diner. Oh, come on. I don't know. They've been here like two so minutes, man. She was the one who organized this. Wait. They're busy. Speaking of Sophie, where the hell is she? Sophie? 
I Sophie, where quiet. are you? I didn't hear about it for a while. Sophie! Sophie! Shut the fuck up. There could be other people here, you know. Maybe that's oh, good. What's the matter, get found Matt? out by the you cops before you get found out by an anonymous out and scare you or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did the VHS cops scare me just as much? Hey, Sophie, where are you? Come on. Huh? It's pitch black. Well, hey, Matt, check this out. What? what is that, newspaper clip? I found this newspaper documenting the murders. Someone's just been like, sitting up reading is, that. This is some creepy shit, man. It says here the guy responsible dressed up as one of the characters yeah, to so they the know. kids into one of the back rooms or something. Whole public knows about it. Jesus. Yep. Oh, is hey, he still here? This. It looks like some kind of creepy oh. robot fox. Oh yeah, that's Foxy. I, okay, one of them knows. favorite growing up. So he's got a connection but with him. I must say, he definitely looked a lot better than what he does yeah, now. But he That's looks like he's been waiting for a long time. <laughs> oh, here, oh, Welcome to the pirate's cold. This is cool. Whoa. God dang. Hey, damn it, man. It's sort of be like over the top How in the hell is that thing still on? I thought the power was gone. Dude, so I, I guess. Shut up, dude. The place I'd be is out, man. Don't be so fucking gullible all the time. Where's your friend? Wait, is something moving there? Oh, it's on like free room? Okay, I don't think I want to be here anymore, man. I'm yeah, yeah. starting to get really scared. I'm with you what guys. What about Sophie? We're not just going to leave her here, are Maybe we? Maybe she already got out. On, Maybe she go was like, skip this. What if she already left? No, she didn't already. She didn't, dude. If she left, we would have clearly seen her walking out through the door. You gotta leave as a group. So she's still here, and we need to go look for her. So come on. Do they find her though or not? Sophie! Sophie, are you even there? Even with those guys walking around, they're just calling out nice and loud. Get worried. Even though they might hear them, they don't even care. Sophie? No time with the dude in the suit is there, just been waiting like this is his uh, his bait. These guys took it. Like, there's the stage. Hey, that's cool. Sophie? M Matthew? Yeah, that's not like mad scream. Guys, guys, seriously, quit the bullshit. I'm starting to get really fing scared right now. Good emotion delivery, bro. Oh, there's someone back there! Oh, it's Jeremy and the girl! What the f What? They're responding to what he says! Oh! Oh my gosh! That is horrific! Oh, he's, he's moving down! What would you do? What would you do? In the office? That our doors like? This is horrible to think about, bro. Why <laughs> quietly, dude? They're gonna hear you crying. They're gonna kill you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so scary. Busted on that. Oh my gosh. I think we should go look for Freddy. Why? Wait, why would they want to find... Why? You're moving away? I only heard one set of legs, though. There was, like, three of them. What would you do? Would you try and run now? Nah. What would you do? I don't trust any of this, guys. Ooh. This place feels... <laughs> oh, that was way more alive. Is that Afton? Child. Yeah, Hello? there's no way! Where? Oh! <laughs> That's sick! You can even see him in the suit that time! Oh my gosh! He's stabbing him up! Woo! Damn, that is brutal! We see all! Yeah, yeah, now. So why that happened to Sophie and the other, uh, the other guy? I mean, you just gotta assume the animatronics, they got to him first, right? That's why you don't trespass, especially considering the uh, the backstory. What was already known about that place? That dude has been living there for a long time in that suit. More victims, man. I wonder if he will use those to create more animatronics. Like he well and truly could. I have no idea. No idea. That was great, though. Another really good one. Trespassing. Kudos. Kudos. I gotta 
to say, this was a very sort of chilling episode in terms of what we watched. Every one of these was like just so scary and unnerving in their own remark. All of the videos were so good. All right, though, guys, that was another video, though, of reacting to more FNAF VHS tapes. If you did like any of these creators, they're all linked down below, and there was timestamps for each of their channels. Guys, I would definitely recommend checking them out. They are so good. If there's any more tapes you guys want to see, though, let me know down below. A couple of these I did actually find from comments on the previous video, so I am checking actively. Thank you for those who did let me know about these. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rate? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, if you did enjoy, yeah, and like, uh, moral of the story, if you don't want to die from an animatronic, just, uh, don't go to one of their establishments, open or closed.